third law says that if you have one force pushing on something and there's a force pushing back the other direction with the same amount of force, that it goes off. The greater the pressure, the greater the flight. And there's more mass of water okay. that will to push it out. He knows what we're talking about. Okay. Hydrogen to our electric and it got so hot that the copper actually slid off of the aluminum wire. Right, and it's made the substance. Whatever it is. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Oh, yeah. Oh. Because, because the Big Island has the Keck Observatory, like a big astronomy observatory on it, they're really concerned about light pollution. So all of the street lamps aren't like the white light producing street lamps we have here. They're all sodium lamps. So it produces this like sort of crazy yellow light, which makes it really hard to find your rental car in a, at night in a movie parking lot. All right, that was fun day. Let's go light off. In my classes, there aren't any right answers. People who have taken my classes um, know that <laughs> the test, there's no right answer. It's how well can you make an argument? Because nobody's going to pay you to look something up. They're going to pay you to make an argument and support it with facts. And that's what uh, I want you to be able to do. Okay, they're calming down. Which end is looking around? The smaller end. Okay. Now they have a sucker on both ends. Okay. But it looks like it's the thin end that we want to go ahead. And uh, they're, they're moving so much that it's going to be. This one right here is starting to suck it up, see him sucking it up. You like that kind of stuff? It's all at the top. Has anybody used a turkey baster? Some of you, it's just like a little tiny turkey baster. So you're going to push on it, you're going to put it inside, and then you're going to let the liquid come up. The hard part is you got to stop when it comes to the top. Not all the way and fills it up, but to the line at the top. That's one milliliter, and you're going to kind of drip, so you're going to kind of be close. You're going to have to have your tube open, and you're going to put two of those in, right? Because two milliliters. One milliliter is up to the top. Practice a little bit first, meaning push on it, then put it in, let it go, and then put it into your tube, okay? Again, the hard part is kind of holding it steady when you're transferring it to your tube, and you want to do that twice, okay? Once you do it, pass it on to the next person. Do not touch the tube. There you go. Now push gently out and keep holding it until you take it out. There you go. Push it out. Next person. All right. Push on it gently. Sand grains make up the sandstone of the Okay, so, so they're very hard. All three of these are very hard and will scratch glass because the quartz is hard. So we'll talk about the chert and the vacuolite. They're related because if you when you look at all these rocks that you have on your table, we're going to think back into the past. What do we think hot springs was when these were deposited? So think about in your groups whether you think we had a river here, maybe a wetland, maybe there was a glacier here, maybe uh, maybe the ocean is on top of us, maybe. So say if I put, his was an infected one. Okay. So say if I just put this powder on my hand, like... 
it's not like you're not going to be able to see anything. Right. It's just going to be powder. I see. But his was an infected one, so you'll see the light, the blue color. Uh huh. Weird. Okay. That's why. Okay. Sure. Need to. And this is for immunology. Yes, we do this lab in immunology. Okay. Hey, right. Green, do you mind trying to put this back in? Yeah. All right. So, if you don't turn around now, just, just turn around. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do science. Okay. Yep, this is how you do it. <laughs> so, so, uh, you plan, you figure, and then, um, then you do what you, whatever uh, you really need well, to do. Look. Fill the stream bed. Now notice right away. What does the stream bed look like relative to the to the sand around it? It's not the same color. It's not the same color. It's certainly washing out some of the color. It's also notice how it's getting um, nice and smooth. Um, there will be places where it's moving really fast, where the water's moving fast, where the sand will actually start to make ripples. Okay, have you ever seen that where you get ripples? Okay, so we're coming around a corner here and, and starting to come around a corner here. And so there's a little bit of a pool right there. We got a little bit of a waterfall. Notice down in the bottom of the waterfall, what do you see? Do you see sand? You see more like gravel. Okay, so the sand's being, the lighter particles are moving down and they're starting to form the stream bed. Okay, um, and then upstream we've got some gravel. Now we're starting to come down here. Let's see what happens when it goes down this fast um, channel. What's it going to form down at this end here? It'll uh, make our little lake down here. What do you think it'll form just right in here? Well, it could be a waterfall. What else? Uh, in the form of what? If you have a whole bunch of little falls, small streams that are all spreading out from each other, what would you call that? What's at the end of the Mississippi? <laughs> yeah, that's true. And actually, you know, so look at what's happening now. Look at how much movement there is now. And notice what the shape of it is. See that spreading out? Look at that. What's that shape called? And what's another name for a triangle? Beta, gamma, 